Hi, the internet. Welcome to the What Else Show. I'm your host, Robert. This is Bethany. Hi, internet. And today we've got a brand new What Else Show for you. Bethany, what else are we talking about today? Today we are going to do a restaurant review of Pier 88 Boiling Seafood and Bar. That's right. We've got another restaurant review, Pier 88. You heard what Bethany said. In Linwood, Washington. Linwood, Washington. But then let's start this restaurant review like we start off all restaurant reviews. Location. And we talk about the location. The location. So, really nice area. It's in Linwood. It's across the street from the Alderwood Mall. Mm -hmm. I like the Alderwood Mall area. Yes. This is actually in a kind of a newer area. I would describe this area as kind of an urban sprawl. I would agree with that. I don't know what it means, but that's how I would describe it. It's kind of fancy. Yeah. It's kind of a fancy area, and there's a, I guess they're condos or something. Yeah, it's right next to some condos, mm -hmm. and on the bottom floor of this condos, there's a bunch of little restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's never going to work because it's across the street from a Costco and a Home Depot, and it ruins the entire thing. And the area is really nice. It's nice and new. Very nice. There's a lot of seating areas. There's a lot of concrete for people to walk on, <laughs> right? Sidewalk. To, yeah. 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 But there's like a lot of seating areas and a lot mm -hmm. of like bar, like outdoor yeah, bar areas where very, you stand up and drink coffee and talk to people. It's very pedestrian friendly. Yeah, it, it, mm -hmm. They want to set it up as a social location. Yeah, There's yeah. no trees or covering or anything and we went on a hot day. I mm -hmm. couldn't imagine being out there on yeah. a hot day, but uh, it's like no shade. <laughs> yeah. I don't, but it's a really nice area. It it's really super nice. nice. I it's like super it. nice. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the building exterior. Exterior. Interesting. It is an interesting exterior, right? It, it is. And there's a giant, giant crab. Yeah, the logo, <laughs> I think, is really eye-catching. It really is. Yeah, that's what got our attention is we saw the giant crab and we we're like, oh, we want to go there. Yeah. There's a giant crab on the building. We were driving around the building and before we got to the building, I was like, is this building open? Because you can't see in through any of the windows. They're no. No. You can't. Uh, there was like pictures on all the walls. Yeah. Like crabs and, you know, cartoon crabs. Very nautical like themed. The whole yeah. building is just like nautical themed. Yeah. In Let's talk about the interior. Interior. Nautical themed. <laughs> Lovely on the inside. I it loved the woodwork and the the lights and yeah, everything had a very nautical feel to it. I it's really liked fine. it. It's fine. Oh, how dare you? It it looks like it should be a little worn, but uh, it's like all wood wooden plank walls, mm -hmm. and they're not worn. They're like brand new, so it kind of gives a weird aesthetic. It hmm. feels like it should be a little more worn down. Do you know what I'm saying? A little weather-worn. Yeah. Yeah, that might give it more character. Uh, also, in the interior, there's a bar. Also, I think this is an issue with the interior. I'm going to put it in this interior. The tables are kind of close together. Yes. This, the restaurant was pretty empty. Mm -hmm. We waited about 15 minutes, and we just gazed at all these empty tables. I don't think they had enough staff is the problem. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they put us in tables that were right next to each other. And the people serving were having a hard time getting through. And they were having a hard time bussing tables because yes. people were in the way and they, people were trying to get they around them. They couldn't navigate the floor plan of their own restaurant. Like, the yeah, they were clearly struggling. Yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah, interior... Is that an interior problem or a service I, problem? I think that's an interior problem. They didn't plan it very well so that the tables are far enough apart that the wait staff can fit through, like, in between, like, on the aisles. Yeah. Yeah. Interior problem. Yep. 
that's what I would call that. Okay. This is a full service restaurant mm-hmm. with a wait staff, mm-hmm. uh, paper napkin place. You know, you always want to mention paper napkins or cloth napkins. Yep, paper napkins. Mm-hmm. We're in casual dining chain territory, like say like an Applebee's or something like that. Mm. Oh, let's talk about parking. Parking. I think we were supposed to talk about parking before interior. We were supposed do? to. Yeah, we were supposed to talk about parking before interior. Uh, the parking. Parking was fine. Parking was fine. Parking it's was not fine. a very good parking lot as far as traffic flow. But what are you going to do? I mean, it's there right was, by a Costco and a Home Depot. And, there were a lot yeah. of spaces on a Sunday yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Sunday noon when we went. It's not like a garage situation or anything. Now we talk about food. Food. <laughs> Let's talk about food. And the, the first food. thing they bring us is drinks drinks what did you get to drink robert i got a long island iced tea they have a drink menu and nothing looked good on the drink menu oh so i got a long island oh. iced tea because it was on the drink menu which is weird but what, what are you gonna do but it was it was good I, I enjoyed it a little light on the alcohol a little heavy on the tea for a long island iced tea you know what i mean Really, Bethany, I drank I drank one in about five seconds, yeah. and I didn't get wasted like I try like I was trying to do. <laughs> What'd you get? A soda? I just got a soda. Yeah, diet soda. Yeah, gross. Yeah, appetizers. Appetizers. What did we get? We got a a fried calamari. Fried calamari. Uh, How appetizer. Was it? Delicious. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. Came with cocktail sauce. Everything comes out on what like metal trays with like the paper under it. Mm-hmm. To catch the oil or whatever. And the appetizer came with a uh, ramekin. Ramekin. Plastic mm-hmm. ramekin. This is one of those things that could make it yes. more classy or less they classy. Could, yep. It could if go it was either in, way. Like a little ceramic dish or a metal, a little metal ramekin. A metal ramekin would make a difference. It makes yes. such a big difference. But these are plastic. To the visual presentation. Probably pre-filled. Yeah, pre-filled with the lid on. With the lid on. Yeah, so. Less classy. Less, yeah. It was really good. Really nice batter. Yes, yes. It wasn't tough or stringy like Mm -hmm. it can be if it's done poorly. Robert, what did you order for your entree? I ordered what they call a low country boil. I believe they call it a famous low country boil. Mm -hmm. Probably why I ordered it. (laughs) I think that's exactly why you ordered it. If you put something in the menu that I've never, I don't, if you put something in the menu of a restaurant that I've never been to, and you do say something like "are world famous" or "famous" or "we're known for" or something like that, I, 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 he's he's on it. My yeah. hands are tied. That's he's what your, I gotta do. He, you're their tar- target audience for that stuff. <laughs> what do you want? This is what people come here. You for. are their exact customer that they're targeting. This is what people come here for order that let's call it famous and yeah that's you yeah yep. and you're more like uh oh what is this a pizza place i'll have a hamburger <laughs> that's more more you no yes it is no yes it is no talk about this low country boy yes please yes where it's uh half a pound of shrimp half a pound of crab legs a potato an egg mm-hmm. a hard-boiled egg sausages a little corn cob yep it's all boiled together and they come out and they like dump it into a, a big silver tray mm-hmm. yeah uh, you get to choose the seasoning and then you get to choose the amount of heat mm-hmm. i chose the 88 seasoning and medium heat which was good enough for me it was a little spicy but not crazy mm-hmm. and you just uh they did they did bring me a bib and some shell crackers Mm -hmm. and some gloves there was a lot of there was a lot of implements and accessories accoutrements a lot of accoutrements yeah Yeah. (laughs) i didn't use any of that stuff i used the crackers when i needed to but uh i mean i'm here (sighs) bethany and i are at lunch right and i order this and she orders something that she doesn't need all of this extra bibs and gloves and stuff with and i'm not gonna be the only asshole at the table wearing a, a crab bib you and, could have. and gloves you to eat have. my food you could have but i didn't you didn't but you could have 
Sure, I could. Why are you letting me stop you? Do your thing. I don't want to look like the only jerk at the you. table. Bethany, if both of us look like jerks, that's one thing, but just me? <laughs> okay, okay. Let me, uh, and, and it was good. It was good. I, I enjoyed it. I believe it was priced range in the $38 area, mm-hmm. which I think is fair for the amount of food. It we'll talk like, about it when we get to yeah. the price, though. Yeah. You want to yeah. talk about your meal? Uh, yes, I got f- uh, fried shrimp. I got a shrimp basket that came with fries and an order of Cajun fries. And again, it came with the plastic ramekin of um, cocktail sauce. I thought the shrimp was really good. I did try some of your food, which I also thought was good. Yeah, we didn't get dessert or anything. Dessert. My hands were already rot yeah. with fish parts. <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah so i was uh, i was ready to get out of there and wash yeah. my hands and whatnot yeah should use the gloves <laughs> let's talk about the service let's talk about the ser- service was not great no it was not service was not great right from right from entrance the service was not great we walk in the place is empty the place is a ghost town <laughs> yeah and they're like it's 15 minutes i'm like that's fine mm-hmm. so we wait up front there's not a great waiting area up there. There's like four chairs over here and two chairs over here. And it's not big enough and there's not enough chairs and the door is right there. And it's just bad not a flow. It's, it's got a, a bad such situation. Such a bad flow. Yeah. And like you're waiting right in front of the door. And so like people are coming in and like you're in the way and it just, yeah. It's so flow. awful and uncomfortable. It is. It's just an awful waiting area. And now let's talk about our wait service not great not great not great seldom came back to check on us yeah they really? came out once to ask what we wanted for our drinks we weren't ready yet mm-hmm. then they came back and took all of our food orders and they brought us our food orders they had one of the orders wrong with bethany's order mm-hmm. and they didn't come back to check on us and it was hard to flag somebody down finally somebody came back and checked on us and they righted it right away but it took a long time for them mm-hmm. to get there it took a long time to get our our bill after we were done it took a yeah we were just like sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and we just wanted to go yeah <laughs> like we're just ready to go yeah service is not good service not good okay so the total for the two of us was like 91 dollars mm-hmm and that includes the tip, drinks, like everything. So I felt like that was pretty reasonable because you had you had crab and you had um, shrimp and, you know, we had some, we had some really good appetizers. seafood. Yep, we had appetizers. We each got the entrees. I felt like that was reasonable. I think it's reasonably priced. I don't think it's a deal. But if you're going there and just getting like, um, what I really wanted was a the lobster rolls what i really wanted was a lobster roll yeah. and i believe that was like somewhere in the 15 dollar range opposed to like the 38 dollar range but yeah maybe next time next if time I, if i go you're gonna have to wait to the end of the show to see if i recommend going <laughs> yeah yeah so reasonable it, i feel not like outlandish reason, or anything price. yeah, yeah it's yeah. not outlandish cool all right so are we ready to rate it is that what we do we rate it now because we didn't get dessert yeah, we didn't get And we would have talked about that way long ago, so I don't know why I'm bringing that up. Let's rate it. Let's rate it. All right. Robert, let's rate it. Okay. You, you go first. All right. I am going to give this restaurant a solid three out of five with a recommendation. And I definitely want to go back because I would love to try the lobster rolls. A solid three. So three is not necessarily bad. There's some things they could do to really, you know, bump that up. But overall... I would go back. I'm also going to give it a three out of five. I don't think I have a recommendation. I don't think I recommend it for people to go. I'll probably go back just because I don't know any other place that has lobster rolls. (laughs) But I can't. I... (sighs) It's tough for me. I I don't want to say don't go because it wasn't bad. The service was bad, but the food was pretty decent. But I don't want to say yes, do go because the service was bad and it's you're not really getting a deal. It's and the food isn't like oh my god, you're gonna be talking about it forever. Right. It's. I, I guess I recommend it for people that want something different 
Mm-hmm. It's good for groups, I feel like. Yes. It's good for people that maybe have children or somebody that might yeah. be interested in seeing all that garbage piled up on the <laughs> table. You know what I mean? It might be kind of fun. If you want to get into a messy experience and eat... You know, that, that's who I recommend it for. I don't, yeah. I don't recommend it for, like, seafood lovers or somebody oh, like that. Oh, really? I don't know. So there you have it. So I don't remember if I recommend it or not. <laughs> you you heard, I don't think you did. You heard my voice. That's what I thought of it. <laughs> did, do I recommend it or not? You decide. <sighs> okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. You heard my words. Okay. You decide if I recommended it. We got it. it. Yep. We got it. Cool. Do we have anything else to say about this restaurant? I have nothing else to say. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say either. I will definitely be going back. Yep. Because I want to try a lobster roll. Yes. And maybe I'll get dessert the next time I'm there. I don't know. If you want an update, leave it in the comments. I don't know. <laughs> you probably don't. You're probably tired <laughs> of this show already. <laughs> I'm going to take us out. Robert, for the love of God, take us out. Thanks for watching, Internet. You can follow the show on Twitter at What Else Show. We're also on Instagram at The What Else Show. Please like, subscribe, and share on YouTube. If you know any restaurants in Linwood that have lobster rolls, let us know in the comments. You can leave anything in the comments. Yeah. Bye, Internet. Bye, Internet. I definitely need a hair yeah, makeup I, person. Yeah, and I agree. You do. Yeah, I do. I don't. You could probably use two. <laughs> <laughs> but then they are trying to get us in a light mood before the show. Yeah, yeah. Get some. <laughs>